Nicolas Felix, a U.S.-based Nigerian pastor of the Miracle Church International, has obtained the presidential nomination and expression of interest forms of the All Progressives Congress APC. Felix procured the forms at the APC headquarters. The cleric joined the growing list of presidential aspirants who have declared to contest the presidency on the platform of the ruling party. Now, I, I believe the state we are now as a nation, every Nigerian is crying for a youth with a vision. Every Nigerian wants somebody that will lead us to where we are supposed to be. And my primary aim and my number one agenda is security. And that's what I'm bringing to the table, trusting that 100 days after uh, uh, I'm sworn into office, we will tackle insecurity in this nation with every force and with every might. We have our military who are very strong. We need to empower them. We need to give them the free will to be able to go and fight insurgency, whatever uh, uh, we have been suffering from it. So I, I'm, I'm trusting that the, our delegates will look beyond just this uh, political gladiators. Our delegates in this party will look beyond just what they can receive and be able to see a youth with a vision. As, as of today, I'm the, I'm the only youth in, the, in this race who have purchased the nomination from, from both uh, parties. And I'm trusting that Nigerians will rally behind us. However, the U.S.-based cleric is not the only pastor who has declared interest in contesting the presidency on the APC platform in the 2023 general election. Tunde Bakari, the serving overseer of the Citadel Global Community Church, formerly known as Lateran Assembly, also procured the presidential forms. Addressing newsmen in Abuja after paying for the expression of interest and nomination forms, Bakari said he would change the country's narrative by enthroning good governance if elected president. By the grace of God, as we salute those who had worked tirelessly till now, from past administration till this moment, we want to contribute our quota in such a way that Nigeria will experience what we call a cutting-edge nation. N never again will we be backwards. I trust God helping us with good men, men of goodwill, from the east, west, north, and south of our country, across party lines, male and female, will rise up to rebuild our nation in such a way that the devastation we have experienced will never see again. Our program is very simple. Peace, progress, prosperity, and possibilities. Upon those four pillars, Nigeria will be rebuilt, and the hope of many citizens will be rekindled. We are all going to join hands together to make it happen. No other nation will fix our nation. It will take Nigerians from all walks of life, within and without, those in the diaspora, those within, to rise up and say, it's time to rebuild our nation. While Bakari was at the International Conference Center, ICC Abuja, to personally pick his forms, Vice President Oshimbajo's forms were purchased for him by support groups led by Senator Kabiru Gaya at the ICC. I've been in politics for many years, and as I, and I, I understand at a certain level how politics should be played. I believe it's a better of give and take. We have served for the president in this country for eight years under the leadership of President Mahmoud Buhari, so therefore the presidency should go to the south. And that's why we said the best able person to handle this matter is somebody who has been in the system. If he's sworn in today at the Eagle Square, by tomorrow morning he can pick up because he's already in the system. The, I was a governor, I know what it takes. When you are sworn in, it takes time for you to learn to move forward. But when you are in the system, you don't have that problem. It's going to improve because they have now drawn a plan at which we can appease stability and better economy. And it's going to improve on that new plan we have to develop the economy to a better and for Nigerians to be better. I want to say this is what they want, but I believe it will be a direct primaries where delegates will come to the Abuja and will decide on our candidate. Maybe when you do indirect, it will be more bogus and take more time. So I believe that whatever the party agrees with the aspirants is what we will do. The electoral act is very clear. I'm the chairman, so I know it's very clear. It says either consensus or even direct primaries or indirect. Even if consensus is done and all candidates agree, that is fair. At least 17 aspirants in the APC, many of who are from the southern part of the country, have declared their interest to succeed President Muhammadu Buhari.